We are bringing the strong style game on this review. Normally we do one, two, but today we're doing all three. A lot of you had requested, you know, it was like back and forth. You guys were battling it out in the comment section in our previous video, which by the way, if you did miss, again, there is a giveaway going on for one of these figures from Elite Series 63. If you did miss out on these, again, they're all up at Ringside Collectibles. Discount code here will save you 10% at checkout. Want to take a look at the one, the Shinsuke Nakamura. I mean, it is a strong style review, so I say that we start out with Shinsuke. He says, Hero Fix, thank you, man. I really appreciate you picking me first out of all these figures, right? Because we're getting Kane, Dusty Rhodes, Sami Zayn, Shelton Benjamin. We are going to do, uh, do, if we haven't already, depending on the filming and the video when it came out, we also have the variant as well as the regular one, gold standard and current roster. Here's Shinsuke Nakamura saying, oh! I'm first. Not only am I first to be up from the series, but I'm first to be reviewed in this video. Now, again, all of these, it's telling you up front in the top right-hand corner, it is true FX in this. You know what? There is no, I just noticed this, you guys. There is no Rob Schamberger art piece. I mean, it usually tells you right there on the corner of the box, but we're not getting an art piece. We are getting a backdrop, which it looks like it's the crowd of just everyone, all of you guys, the WWE Universe chanting for Hero Fix. Yeah, Hero Face, getting Nakamura review. They're just, the crowd is going nuts. Why are they going nuts though? Cause, dude, they are going nuts because we're getting interchangeable parts and in all of the elites going forward. I know they said 2019, but from every leaked image that we've seen for the upcoming figures, they're all getting it now. So it looks like for Nakamura, we're getting his signature pose that he does right before he hits you with a Kinshasa. Let's bring it up close. It looks like that one is already on his right hand. And it looks like we're getting an open hand and same hand, same gesture for the left hand, except it's for the right or for the left hand. Over here, we're getting a close fist. Now the jacket, and these are really easy to. I just want to show you the difficulty on how it is to take. It's not. It's actually really easy. You just pop that out and you pop, kind of like your. I don't know if any of you collect uh, Marvel Legends, but that's that's usually how you do it. You don't have to heat it up. You don't have to get your, you know, the the heating gun or the hot water. You just pop it on. You can hear the pop. It's, it's just, it makes that right noise that it just gives you, let's put the other hand gesture so you guys can see. Actually, we're going to have to take, before we put this one on, I want to show you guys the detail of the jacket because it, it looks like you're going to have to, otherwise you're going to be forcing it. The jacket right here, it is a nice fabric material. Any other Nakamura prior to this, except from his previous Elite, we, we were finally starting to get some more uh, cloth goods. This isn't a cloth, this is like a, it's like a pleather. It's a fake plastic leather. The stripes, they're all on the back, they're all on the tights. It's just the most detailed Shinsuke Nakamura figure yet. You look at the NXT TakeOver, yeah, they had a little studded pattern design, but when it comes to the fallout design on this one, it's just all over, dude. It's all over on the jacket, on the tights. The head scan right here, I want to show you guys the differences. This one is using, and you know, for at, when I first saw images, I didn't, I thought it was just a reused head scan using true FX, but this one, he's giving you more of a wink. I don't know if you guys can pick. Yeah, you can see it. The right eye right there. He's winking at you. He's smiling at you. Here's the other one. This is the defining moments. I think I might have done a head swap. But regardless whether it was a previous basic, this is the first time that we're seeing this Shinsuke Nakamura head scan. Now, when you do take off the jacket, it is sharing the same torso. You know what? I think there is there a hand in there. It is. Oh, no. This is armband. That's my bad. So, I just want to uh, confirm you guys because in, in the pictures for the prototype, it did look like he was getting two different armbands. You're only getting the one. So, the jacket, yeah. It comes off without a struggle, and it makes sense, right? It's not that solid rubber. You slide on that armband back on there, because it is going to come off when you do take off the jacket. Once you get that back on there, you can put that open hand ge gesture and call out the big red machine for the Kinshasa. Look at him. He's like, oh, <laughs> let's take out Kane, the big red machine. And we are going to rank all of these, you guys. We're going to rank these out. Um, the full wave once we get the full series. I'll give you my overall thoughts as to which one I preferred from this video. Here's Kane. This is that attire that he's currently wearing right now. This is the attire that he wore at the sh Super Show with his brother. Well, he was at ringside. He was just accompanying that. He wasn't, uh, you know what? Come that tag team match, when he does take on DX with him and his brother, I think, uh, yeah, it'll be the same attire. I mean, what? you know what would be awesome? And this is just me being nostalgic, but I would like to see him wear that, like, full-on red. You guys remember Elite Series 12? I think that would be wicked, man. So here's Kane, and I'll do a comparison, too, for my custom. This is the one that we had gotten from Beast Nation. The scan right here that I use, it's, it is the one that doesn't have the removable mask. 
I, I like this one a lot. I mean, this one is also cool, but thing is, is that once you start posing this figure around, like, once you start messing around with this mask, like, any kind of pose, well, I mean, it all depends on how hard you play with them, but, I mean, still, yeah, it goes on there pretty good, and I do like this. I do believe that, um, this scan, we, yeah, we've seen this head scan before. It's just using that 3D print, which is giving you all that shading around the, you know, around the facial hair, the eye, the nose. Getting that nice, like, fade going on right there. It's just, it's, I love this. This is beautiful. This is, like, the one thing that's going to cause every WWE figure collector to replace their own collection, man. <laughs> Seriously, man, like, it just, it, they don't, I mean, they, they still blend in pretty well with your previous Elite figures or your basics, but it's just, uh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Now, the overall flame detail, I'll go over it with you. If you guys didn't see the custom review on this, if you did, man, go on the channel, dude. We're always doing custom figgies. Here's Kane right there. This one is more pronounced. I think the red is brighter on the custom than it is on the actual Mattel figure. I'll have to go to the WWE Network and see which one was actually more accurate. I mean, Beast Nation, the guy never slacks. Now, the one thing that I do want to point oh you know what they did include it nice if you look by the um i'll bring it up real close so you can see it if you look up right here by the flame work you can actually see kane's mask and that was one of my biggest concerns that they were going to actually add that because beast nation did add it on his and for it looks like for mattel i mean you can barely barely see you kind of have to turn it sideways a little bit but that's kind of like the creases of the forehead the eye just an awesome cane dude like this cane is gonna bring up that cane figure collection just to another crisp and i mean crisp level now again this one is using the interchangeable hands and they're all up right here it looks like for the right hand you are still getting a glove and then uh, for the left obviously you know he's not wearing a glove on that but again you just pop that out let's pop that out right there and we'll pop in this one so you guys can see it's a close fisted so if he doesn't if he doesn't want to go for the choke slam right there and then he can just knock you out my dudes and he is coming also with an accessory i'll show you and it, i'll just show you the close fist right there he is coming with the steel chair it looks like mine came a little bit bent so i'm gonna have to put a little you know like the blow dryer up to it so we can get that nice and right because this chair it shouldn't it, <laughs> i think he already beat triple h over the head with it look at the arch on this dude this is not a normal bend. Does it still fold on me? It does. I mean, he's going to be slouching when he's sitting, but that's all right. Right there for the logo design, we are getting the Royal. This is based off Royal Rumble. That's when he wore the attire. So it's right that they actually added that on the chair. Now, Dean Ambrose right here, this is the one that you guys want answers to because I'm sure a lot of you is like, what is going on with this head scan? <laughs> Not the one on the box, but on the actual figure. It is, the more and more pictures I saw this, I think it was Mike the Wrestling Collector that had posted this on his story. I didn't realize it because he did a zoom up picture on it. And I did not realize how rough this one is looking. You know what? I'm not on this one. I think the ones that they had shown for the prototype, they look like the, the print wasn't right. So again, I'll show you the hands right here. It is an op open hand for the right as well as the left. And then the steel chair right there. This one is based off TLC tables, ladders, and chairs. Except we're not getting any tables. We're not getting any ladders. But we are getting another bent chair. Is this my luck, bro? Like, what's going on? Look, I'd rather have this flaw oh, as opposed to, like, a paint flaw. Because a paint flaw is a lot harder to fix. This right here, we can just give it to good old JR since the man ain't commentating anymore. <laughs> Here's Lunatic Friend. Let me show you. I want to bring this up real close so I can answer those questions that you guys have about this Dean Ambrose. Is it right? Oh, uh, it's okay. It all depends on the eyes of the beholder. Some say this looks like Daniel Bryan. Some say that this just looks flat out wrong. I actually, look, the one that, how mine came out at least, I think the print on it did come out pretty solid. I don't see the eyes all googly eye or anything. The teeth right there, you can actually, I'm going to bring it up real close so you can actually see the teeth. You can actually see the gums on this figure. The rest of the figure right here, the Elite, hey, we've seen this on previous, whether it's Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose, obviously not the big dog because Roman Reigns does have a different upper torso, but it's just your standard black shirt right here for the top. And then from the waist down, it's just your standard black shield, you know, pants right there. Nothing special, nothing different. Articulation, all the same. It's just a new skin that we're getting on this. Now, we're going to rank them right here. The ladder right here. Wait, where did this ladder? Oh, my, you guys know. Oh, I failed. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to fail on you. There is there is no tables, but at least there is a ladder. Looks like this came with Dean. Oh, my gosh, Hero Figs. What are you doing, man? Uh, obviously, if it's based off TLC, here's the ladder. We've seen the ladder before. This is the small ladder. This isn't 
the tall ladder that we got with the Hardy Boys, and you can tell the height right there just because of how it's standing right ne next to Kane. Now, from these three right here, I have to say I'm going to stick with it, man. I think Shinsuke Nakamura is the strong figure out of these three. The right skin, the right attire, all the detail involved with this one. Kane is number two, obviously. You know, this is the one time. You know when I'm not patient. If, you're, you, if you see a custom on my channel before they even release, you know the hype on me getting this attire. So seeing this being put out by Mattel. Apart from Beast Nation, still love your work, buddy. But I think this one right here, love it. I think they're like neck and neck as far as the detail involved. Now, number three, I got to give it to Ambrose. And the reason why he's ranking low out of these is because, again, it's not updated. I guess if you pull off the hair, you might be able to like do like the, you know, the short hair design that he has right now. But again, that's a whole like neck of the woods you don't want to get into. So that's the reason why. I mean, it's cool that we're getting a ladder and a chair, a lot of accessories and all interchangeable parts with all these figures. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one.